Did you think we were going to go today without talking about Switch 2? Look, I actually thought we were going to go today without talking about Switch 2. Our last video uh, was dealing with a lawsuit Nintendo's going after someone over Switch emulation and playing games early and linking to ROMs and websites and all this stuff. Uh, dumbass, right? But uh, now we have to get into something entirely different uh this has to deal with the future of nintendo now we talked yesterday about how we had shipping data that had shown nintendo was at least in mass manufacturing of individual components uh which is the basically the precursor to assembly mass assembly and assembly is what we really care about because assembly means that they have completed units sitting on shelves uh and nintendo's not going to let those sit there and let the batteries die over time uh and, and just sit, like they're not going to have put it this way they're not going to have a, like a million nintendo switch shoes sitting in a warehouse right now and then release it a year later uh, because the battery degradation alone from not being charged that entire time would be horrendous for consumers and affect their launch. Uh, so that's number one. But beyond that, uh, obviously, we have to sit there and talk about storage costs and all that stuff. It just doesn't even make sense. It, it, it would be fiscally irresponsible uh, and obviously potentially damaging to the launch of the system to do that. So what we were looking for here is evidence that Nintendo is actually at the point of assembling units and getting them, you know, to a, a final completed stage. So one thing we can do is look at publicly available data Nintendo gave us on Friday. And thanks to uh, FWD, BWD over on Family Boards, uh, we can kind of get a look at what Nintendo did in the past with Switch over the last seven years and get a good understanding of what this actually means and why this means. We have our most direct evidence from Nintendo themselves that Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be hitting store shelves not too far away from right now. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So we have this post over here uh, by FWB, BWD, and he says, Nintendo released this fiscal year's semi annual report on Friday local time and something strange about their work in progress inventory level as of the end of September. Uh, maybe do a double take. To explain it better, I compiled all the numbers uh, in a switch era. So you see units are in millions of yen, right? So you see like 7 millions of yen, you know, this is obviously in terms of, of cash value um, for their works in progress. You can see the last time they were even close to this high was all the way back uh, during March of 2021. We all know pandemic stuff going on, Nintendo heavily investing back then uh, to try to get as many units out as they could. Near 2021, then we saw an increase at 703. This was obviously for the Nintendo Switch OLED edition that came out uh, a month later. So you, obviously they were increasing their works in progress then. Uh, Switch OLED was obviously a nice launch for Nintendo, but they weren't trying to prepare it like launching a brand new platform. Uh, we also saw a similar increase here uh, back here and in here. These two times were obviously dealing with the Nintendo Switch Lite and Technically, the version two of Nintendo Switch, like this could have already been here, this increase, because they were already having that that new chipset that fixed the security breach. Uh, so then they might have already been working on the V2 Switch back then. But um, that's pretty interesting, especially when you look at this number is significantly higher than the pandemic number. Uh, this number is also a little bit higher uh, than back in 2016. Uh, when Nintendo in, at this time of year was also heavily investing in the work in progress. Now, um, you'll notice here he says, immediately one could see that the WIP inventory in September was abnormally high, dwarfing even the pandemic-induced high of March 2021 and the new model pre-release boost, March 2019 for light and September 2021 for OLED. It seems to indicate that by the end of September, Nintendo had begun Switch to assembly or at least started processing the Switch 2 materials from their suppliers. I su suspect that a presumably higher BOM also contributed to the elevation value of the whip inventory so whip inventory is work in progress um of an increase of nine thousand and thirty percent versus six months ago was in fact due to switch to pre-production nintendo may make good their promise to counter scalping through ample supply and then when you go down here he adds a little bit more context to this um so uh in a company's financial report there are three categories of inventory there's raw materials and we saw Nintendo with a massive raw materials increase years back. Like people were wondering, why are they stockpiling so many raw materials? Probably worried about price hikes and stuff that have actually factually happened since, so good on Nintendo. Uh, then there was work in progress, which is obviously uh, stuff they're making at the moment. And then finished goods is like stuff they have sitting in the warehouse ready to go to retail, right? Um, so obviously when you see a massive increase in finished goods, that means, hey, this shit's about to come out. Uh, my post above was specifically referring only to the WIP data. And uh, Bloomberg reported that Samsung began producing OLED panels for Nintendo in June of 2021 and shipping them to assemblers Foxconn and Hoseidon in July. So it reasons that the whip inventory of March did not include that OLED model, which is 
uh, pretty uh, significant to consider. So uh, basically what we get from this data is that Nintendo, not only uh, do we have the shipping data that suggests that mass manufacturing has begun, we now have data directly from Nintendo that suggests that uh, they're probably starting to assemble units. And if they weren't assembling units in September, they're definitely doing it in October. Like that increase in work in progress was just about getting a bunch of units mass manufactured. Uh, that has nothing to do necessarily with, with uh, assembly. Assembly is likely to begin after that because you're not just going to sit there and let those units um, on all those components just sit there and gather dust, right? Like that's just not what's going to happen. You do stockpile usually for about a month, month and a half, but you don't stockpile for months and months and months and months and months because it's storage cost alone is insane. Uh, you know, you never know if anything could happen uh, to the components like, you know, natural disasters or other things that destroy tons of inventory. You want to get this stuff moving as fast as you can. So what this does show is that Nintendo publicly uh, has a ton of money uh, sitting in work in progress. Now, some of that, a small portion is probably the Alarmo, right? Although the Alarmo has hit a finished product stage, so you might see more of that in the finish stage, although Alarmo was recent and this is September. So yeah, some of that is probably Alarmo. Let, let's see, let's even be nice and say like a million or two million of that, uh, of the seven million was actually Alarmo. That still means that Nintendo is making a shit ton of Switch 2s. That's what this means. Nintendo is literally, as of the end of September, making a shitload of Switch 2s. Uh, they are, when, when we heard Furukawa say earlier this year that the reason or the number one way they want to combat scalping is by having a lot of Nintendo Switch shoes available at launch. And this is kind of like the evidence that backs it up. Nintendo's investment and the work in progress state and how many of these Switch shoes are trying to get made backs what Furukawa said. He is anticipating, I look, I know he's not saying this, so this is obviously just me analyzing that data. But it certainly looks to me that there's an anticipation level from Furukawa that uh, they're going to have the biggest launch in Nintendo history. And I that is crazy. That They're going to have so many units ready for launch that he thinks it's going to be the biggest launch Nintendo's ever had. They're going to sell more units, more games, more everything day one of Switch 2 than at any point in Nintendo history. Uh, and he's preparing for it. So this to me is awesome. and also really bodes well for what he feels like the demand is for Switch 2. It also shows that, yeah, he's obviously paying attention to the demand out there and all the videos and all the social posts and everything. Like, he's well aware, all the responses on all their social media posts every time they announce something that's not Switch 2. Furukawa is very in tune with the way the world is reacting right now. Uh, and it looks like he's pushing through a shitload of Switch 2s. As of September, remember guys, we're in November. So this data is two months old. Uh, we have this month, uh, we have obviously all of October, uh, probably the finished product uh, number is going to start skyrocketing on their next financial report because that means they have a bunch of these ready to go in a warehouse to ship out. So I am, look, Nintendo's not waiting. I, I think my biggest takeaway from this is just like that uh, last Switch 2 video, Nintendo's not waiting till holiday next year. This number, this increase in September would be extremely abnormal uh, as we saw with the Switch. Let's go back and uh, look at this here. So, so look at it again. All of these numbers correspond to like major uh, times in the Switch's life where things are releasing or being prepared to release. None of them were a year later. None of them were a year later. That's like the takeaway. Like none of it was a year later. So uh, Nintendo is prepping and this stuff's coming out in the first half of next year. This is the biggest evidence yet. Uh, I know people want to hold on to the holidays, but this is like literal numbers from Nintendo. Uh, and if you don't believe these are literal numbers from Nintendo, all you gotta do is open up their annual report here, uh, zoom this bad boy in, uh, scroll down, and you can see all these damn numbers. You can see them. You can see all of these numbers, all the charts, everything's here. Everything's here. This all comes directly from Nintendo. Uh, there's no messing around. Nintendo's not messing around. It's basically what I'm saying. Nintendo is going all out, all out right now for Nintendo Switch 2 behind the scenes. Uh, this thing is coming out in the first half of next year. Hell, if I had to venture to guess April, uh, I've been saying April for a bit. That's sort of just a guess. I'm not like putting a flag in the mud and being like, yeah, baby. Or maybe I am putting it in the mud because the mud could sink the flag. And then I got to put a new flag down after the mud hardens, which is in May or something. But uh, yeah, that's just my takeaway. You guys let me know what your takeaway is on this data uh, because I don't know any other way you could view this. Um, that level of increase is unprecedented. And uh Nintendo is just preparing to have more Switch 2s than ever before. And when I say more Switch 2s than ever before, because there's been none, I mean, compared to other systems <laughs> at launch. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.